Chef Dea Lunova, what are you making for dinner tonight? Good morning, you guys. Can't even tell if you can see me because the lighting is a little gloom and doom, but I had my Turkish coffee this morning and I just feel so alive. I don't know if you know this about me, but um, I am not a huge fan of coffee, but there's something about Turkish coffee that just wakes up my soul. I feel like usually when I have coffee here in the States, it gives me this like crackhead energy and then the crash is just... It's not a fun time. It just feels so draining, makes me feel so sluggish, but Turkish coffee like wakes up my soul and I just feel like I can take on the world. Today I'm doing like um, what I eat in a day as a working busy stay at home mom because I feel like on days like today I get so busy and I just have so much to do that I forget to nourish myself. But I finally realized that keeping it simple, keeping it healthy, is honestly the way to go when I am going through a hectic time and I just have so much to do. It is a little bit in the afternoon and I still haven't had breakfast yet and this is so bad but I feel like sometimes I get so busy that I again like I just completely forget the fact that I haven't had a meal yet which is so unhealthy I am going to make an egg wrap loaded with vegetables so that way I can get some nutrition it's super easy simple fast and on days like today I really need to pay attention to my food intake because if I'm not careful, I am gonna get so fatigued that I get nothing done and also it's not good for my health.
a little bit of an afternoon pick-me-up because the house is in shambles and I need to clean it. So I need, I need a little boost of energy to get me through picking everything up right now because I am sleepy. one of those days where I've been so busy again and like I have been dealing with Irina because she's not really feeling the greatest because of her teeth but um, it's hours later I was gonna work out and then eat but I'm so hungry I cannot wait I think I'm gonna eat make like a, a little bit of a late lunch and then hopefully if she sleeps I can work out which will make me super hungry for dinner time. I just finished working out and I'm starving, but Dan is almost home. He's gonna make a late dinner. He's the one who usually cooks dinner, which is great because during the day I'm dealing with her or working or just cleaning the house. So when he gets home from work, he prepares whatever he feels like preparing and I just eat it. But right now I'm gonna snack on some strawberries. I have been trying to make it a goal of mine to have like at least one fruit a day because I feel like if I'm not careful, I'm just gonna grab what's easily accessible to me like chips or popcorn. And by the end of the day, that's all I would have eaten. So I've been trying my best to be more intuitive about what I'm eating. And I've been trying to reach for more fruits, so. What are you making for dinner tonight? Please explain it to the people and most importantly, please explain it to me because I, I don't know I don't even know. I'm gonna experiment tonight Dan is insanely talented when it comes to working his way around the kitchen Like he will take the most unlikely ingredients and just go at it and create something so delicious I'm not gonna lie to you Sometimes when he cooks like I used to be like, what are we doing? Why are you combining soy sauce with eggs? But it always comes out so insanely good that I have learned to let go and let Dan do whatever he wants in the kitchen and I I have not looked back since because again he's super super talented he's just one of those people who have that instinct in the kitchen i do not which is totally okay 
And can we also talk about the fact that I don't know if this is problematic or not, but there's something so sexy about a man in the kitchen. Like, if you want to get me going, make me some scrambled eggs in the morning. Make me a coffee. Make me dinner. You want another child, Dan? Cook me dinner for the rest of your life. I will pop out babies left and right. Let's start a soccer team. Let's start a soccer team. <laughs> I am so grateful to have someone who is not only talented in the kitchen, but enjoys cooking. I swear, give Dan a beer and some music and you're done for the night. Like, it's amazing. And I know that this last recipe is not the easiest. I didn't even know what was going on. Dan didn't even know what was going on. But on days like today where I'm super busy, I like to reach for simple, easy recipes like making a veggie omelet or making a sandwich chock full of like protein and again, more vegetables. And honestly, sometimes I'll balance that out with like some chips, you know, a snack here or there. I don't make that my main source of nutrition. And yeah, so here we have Dan's meat pie creation. It was delicious. It was amazing. The meat, the seasoning, it was just cooked to perfection. And let me tell you, there was some leftovers that we crushed. There was some leftovers that we crushed the next day. It was that good. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you got maybe like a little recipe, a little snack out of this video. And yeah, take care. Bye.